Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing, back once again with Mr. Larry Bobka, master fitter here at Second Swing. Larry, we're in the fitting bay again. I walk in and for whatever reason, I'm just, I'm having a bad day with my swing. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm playing twice as bad as I usually do. What's kind of your advice for golfers who come in and are just, they're just having kind of a nightmare day uh, with their swing or with their game? Well, we're, we've all had those days and we all like want to just go back to bed and start the day <laughs> over again. You know, it happens out on the golf course and it sometimes happens in here. Uh, you know, sometimes you get players that come in and they're a little bit nervous. They've never been fit before. Uh, you know, I, I've done a couple things in the industry and people get excited because they, they want to get fit by me, but they also get a little nervous that like, well, this is the guy who fit Tiger Woods and now I'm, I'm worried. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, I take the garbage out at home all the time. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So what do we do? You know, the first thing, the first thing that I try to do is, is if I see a little bit of that, see some bad shots creeping in, hey, let's, let's relax a little bit. Let me, you know what, you warm up. I'm going to go grab you some water. You can warm up. I'm not going to stand there and stare down every golf shot that you hit. Okay, that's, that's not going to, that's not going to get you into a good frame of mind. Okay, the question becomes, hey, let's talk about, you know, we talk about our interview process all the time. Mm -hmm. You're in here. Well, did you come in because you're playing the worst golf you've ever played or is this day kind of just kind of an anomaly? Is this, is this just, hey, I'm just not hitting it very good today. I didn't sleep really good last, or I did a bunch of yard work yesterday and I'm tight and I'm stiff and I'm just not hitting it very good. Well, you know, we kind of look at it different ways. And, and every once in a while, I do have that player that, you know, for whatever reason, it's just not going to work well. Well, hey, we'll reschedule. Don't, you know, don't think you have to come in here, hit it absolutely horrible, and decide, well, we're, we're going to make you spend $2,000 on some golf clubs that's not that really don't fit you because you didn't have your best performance. I, I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other fitter in the company that's gonna do that either. We're gonna do our best job to reschedule that, get you back when you're feeling, swinging a little bit better. Hey, maybe you're, I mean, one of the, one of the common ones is I'm going through a swing change. Yep. Working with an instructor, and I've had instructors send uh, players in because they feel like their clubs don't fit, but hey, you know, I'm, I'm working on I'm working on trying to shallow the club out a little bit. Well, maybe maybe they're leaving the face wide open that day. Really, really tough day to fit. Yep. Um, I'm fortunate. Most of the fitters here have, are are very good players. We've got some PGA pros that are fitters. You know, I've taught for years. Hey, if I see somebody struggling, I'm going to give them a little help. Okay, I'm going to talk to them a little. Bit. Hey. This is what I see what's going on. Why don't you just try this? Usually gets them out of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of one of those things where, where, hey, I don't necessarily want to fit you on that day or I don't want to fit you into something that might not work for that day. So, you know, we, ju we just try to do our best. For sure. And I think, especially that nerves point, it comes back to something that you've talked about in the past, which is that this is supposed to be fun. This is, we're not, yeah. you know, we're not mining coal in here. This yeah. is supposed to be, you know, a really fun hour or hour and a half where you really solve a lot of the golfer's problems. It's not supposed to be something to get tight or nervous about. No, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for 41 years. I mean, you know, I, I've seen brilliantly good shots through my career and I've seen brilliantly bad shots through my career and from some of the best players in the world. I'll give you, I'll give you a really quick story. Sure. Um, the year that Tiger won the U.S. Open at Beth Page, you know, he was hotter than hot back then and Butch Harmon and I are standing behind him and Tiger's warming up and he's hitting a six iron and all of a sudden he, he takes the biggest fattest divot you've ever seen and the ball flies about 50 yards. Well, there's like 10,000 people around and they're going, oh, I mean, you heard the gasp like, oh my gosh, 
That's like, I can't believe he hit a shot like that. Tiger didn't even look back. Tiger didn't do anything. He just grabbed another golf ball and went back to strike, striping golf shots. One of the greatest, one of the greatest characteristics of great players is a short memory. You know, you can't think about the shot you hit before. It's just like you're in the bay. Okay, well, geez, I hit a couple bad shots. You know, and, and I get some customers that are, you know, it's like they're overanalyzing every shot, every swing they make. Dude, you're just warming up. Don't worry about it. Right. This is fun. Hit some shots. Get yourself in a rhythm. As we start getting in the rhythm, then I know, you know, is if after doing this, when they start getting in the rhythm, I know when we can start going. Okay? Some players, it takes five swings. Some players, it takes 15, 20 swings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes some players 50 swings. We'll get there. We'll get that rhythm going, but you can't. You can't worry about it. You can't stress about it too much because, like I said in the store, even the best players in the world hit some of the worst shots you've ever seen. But they forget about it. They go on and they just do what they need to do. Absolutely. Well, whether you're having a good day or a bad day when you come into second swing, regardless, get in here, get into our bays, and our master fitters will get you sorted out right away. Larry, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs>